to Stegman Coliseum for our Sports Center showcase. And there was some good news for Georgia. Thomas was also out of the lineup last month when the Dogs won in Gainesville, so they knew they could do it without him if they had to. You know Brett Nelson can do this. Knocked down the open three. Gators' first lead since the game's first basket. Georgia would rally, though. Jarvis Hayes, his third three of the game. A 12-0 Dogs run. Georgia up 41 at 35 at halftime. Second half, Hayes. Blocks the Adonis Haslam. Bulldogs running. Ezra Williams. No look to Freddie Gibson. Oh, that's pretty. 47 apiece. We stuck him with a hobnail boot. Larry Munson for you. Later, Nelson, the three off the screen. Nelson, five of nine from long range. He finished with 17. Billy Donovan, your thoughts on Nelson's performance? In the second half, things started to open up a little bit more for him because of his patience. And obviously, he was spectacular with some of the shots he knocked down. And when he gets it going, then he can start to make some tough ones. Haslam, huge for the Gators in the second. Here he goes, misses his first shot. Rebound, always follow your shot. We like that, the put back, second effort. That's what it's all about. Next possession, more Haslam in the post. It's rough in there, but he gets it to go. Just over three minutes left, Haslam again. He finished with 26 points, 10 boards, and Florida wins 85-70 in Athens. Gators have won four straight. They open up a game and a half lead over Georgia and Kentucky in the SEC East. Haslam got into a pregame altercation with a fan when he hurled a ball into the Georgia student section. He busted the lip of a second-year law student. Asked about the incident after the game, Haslam said, I apologize to the guy who got hit with the ball, and that's about it. Gators down 10 in the first half, outscored the Dogs 50-29 in the second. Florida shot 61% from the field after the break, compared to 29.6% for Georgia. Haslam, the key for the Gators' second half, turnaround 20 of his 26 coming after the intermission. Conference USA, number five, Cincinnati hosting the Billikens. Late first half, it's Steve Logan, people. Cincinnati up 10 at halftime. Lorenzo Romar, your thoughts? Thank you. Early second half, Jason Edwin. And he's going baseline. The lost art of the mid-range jumper. Two of his 12. St. Louis within two after an 8-0 run. Later in the second, Steve Logan is open for three. You can't leave Steve Logan open at any stretch. Six-point bear can't lead. Stokes drives. Bang shot over Chris Brown. That's pretty. 12 for Stokes, a 14-4 run, has the Bearcats up by seven later. Logan, and will fall. He had 21, and since he wins, 67-53. Bearcats now 10-1 and in Conference USA. They're making a run at Marquette for the lead in the conference's American division since he's still unbeaten at home this year. St. Louis has won only one road game all season. Billikens 0-11 at the Shoemaker Center, just 4-31 overall in Cincy. Illinois fighting Bill Selfs on the road against Michigan State. Second half, Michigan State up one, less than three minutes to go. Corey Bradford hoists the three, makes the three. Illini take the lead 54-52. Next Illini possession, Frank Williams loses footing but calls timeout before he travels and gets a talking to from Coach Self. Frank hasn't been as consistent as, as what we like, but I think, I think the light's getting ready to come on. All right, let's see if the light's on for Frank. Frank, Frank sees the light. Hits the three, the Illini by five. 30 seconds left, Michigan State down four. Chris Hill, he gonna match Williams three for three. Thank you, he had 10 points. State down just one. After two, Brian Cook free throws for Illinois. Spartans down three, Marcus Taylor down three, brings the ball up, drives, goes for two, and misses. William gets the rebound, fouled, makes two free throws. He had eight boards, and Tom Izzo says, all right, let's do the math here. We're down three. He went for two. Well, it didn't add up. Illinois wins at 63-61. to 61. They get road win number two on the season. First in East Lansing since 97. Spartans have won their last 15 at home against ranked teams. Simple formula. It's just tough to execute sometimes. You take care of the ball. Got to take care of the ball. That's not taking care of the ball. Jermaine Harper, Roger Mason Jr. for three, part of a 19-3 UVA run to start the game. How about rule number two, maybe? Better here? You get a good shot. Got to get the good shot. Second half, this is a good shot. Jason Cable, loose ball to Adam Boone. UNC takes a 56-55 lead. Defensive balance, you sprint back. Got to get back. Virginia up four, less than a minute. J.C. Mathis. Feeds Travis Watts. I don't know if it's bad defense or just cherry picking, but there's a problem. It's easier said than done. 
And in this case, Doherty said it, he did not get it done. Virginia wins at 73-63, and there you have it. The Tar Heels have just set a record for most losses in the season with 16, 10 conference losses, also a new Carolina low. Chris Williams, Roger Mason, each with 18. Baylor, Texas Tech also on the schedule for Bob Tuesday night. First half, Tech up 19. Andre Emmett, nice hoop, nice pass from Kasee Powell. 17-4 run for the Texters. Later, 20-point lead, Marcus Shropshire off the steal to Emmett. Nice little alley-oop there. Second half, Tech up 17. Stand on your tuna cans, and how far can you see in Lubbock? 50 miles, and you can see that. Pretty behind-the-back move by Wendell Green. Later, Tech up 32. Emmett with a great lay-in. Tech, 30 assists, and they win at 90-65. Georgetown and Seton Hall meeting under a full moon, and all kinds of goofy things happen when that happens. The ball bounces in weird ways. The highlight zone, submitted for your approval. Second half, tie shine, air ball gets it back. Half court, heave! But guess what, Ty? That's a backcourt violation. No luck for Seton Hall. The Black cat crosses in front of the camera. Later in the second, Andre Barrett for three. Yeah. Oh boy. Look who gets it. It's number 13, Marcus Tony L. Seton Hall loses. Everyone, first half, we are tied at eight. Victor Williams makes the steal. He's a picking and he's a grinning because he's got the foul as well. OSU fan. He's popped up. Stay off the court. Another reason they call it the Bedlam series off the Williams miss. We're scrambling. White dives and gets it, but throws it to the opposition. OU's back. Madness continues until Terrence Crawford is finally fouled. Bedlam, it's chaos in Stillwater. Sooners up five now. Shot clock running down. Ebi Ara drops in the three. Sooners up by eight, 24-16. More from the Bedlam theme. Hollis Price is lacking footwear. Doesn't stop him from going hard after the loose bar. He is unsuccessful, but we appreciate the effort. Now get yourself a shoe. Second half, Cowboys down four. Melvin Sanders stealing it, taking it all the way for the two-hander, 31-29. Oklahoma down one. Price, tough pass to Aaron McGee, who drops in the three ball. He had a season-high 27, fourth double-double in five games for him. 52-51, Cowboys up. Ivan McFarland saves it. Sanders on the other end. He will finish. OSU up two. Victor Williams. Driving, looking for Ivan McFarland and the lay-in, and OSU up four. After some free throws tied it up, Oklahoma State wants the last shot, but the Sooners smothering D. Jason Dietrich will come up with it for OU, and so they get the last chance. Price waited probably a little too long and finally got the offense going. Passes to Quantus White, and we are headed to overtime off the back rim. In the OT, Victor Williams looking for McFarland, wide open underneath. Drops in that to McFarlane, then steals it. And he'll take it all the way in to seal it. Cowboys win it 79-72. Everybody get a hand on Ivan McFarlane. Five pokes and double figures in this one. McFarlane, eight of his career-high 22 points coming in the OT. And after committing 25 turnovers in a loss at Fresno State Sunday, the Cowboys had just eight against Oklahoma. The Sooners fall 0-3 against ranked teams on the road this season. Losses at Michigan State, Kansas, and now Oak State. Those contests, shooting just 35% from the field compared to 50% against other opponents. Oklahoma 19-1 in all other games with the lone loss to Bob Knight's Texas Tech squad. Georgia Tech, Maryland, Juan Dixon may be thinking too much about facing Duke on Sunday. Not on his game in this one. Misses the baseline three. And then later in the first, Dixon missing another three. Six out of 19 from the floor. 0 out of 9 in the game from three-point land. Second half, Chris Wilcox, Lonnie Baxter, who had 22. Later in the second, Steve Blake to Wilcox. Wilcox 14 in Maryland, up by the score of 54 to 46. Maryland now up 12. Wilcox a block on Ed Nelson. Byron Mouton for the lay-in. He had 14, and Maryland getting ready for Sunday. And it is Duke they will get. In this one, though, they won it 85-65. Baxter, the 22 points, 10 boards. Maryland 10-1 in ACC play for the first time ever. Terrapins move into a first-place tie atop the conference standings with Duke. So that really sets the stage for Sunday's showdown. Terrapins have won seven straight and 12 out of their last 13. Wake Forest, Clemson, just over a minute to go. Wake down 11. Craig Dawson and a foul. Completes the four-point play. 
Wake down 86-79. Dawson again from three. Look out. Wake within four. Less than 30 seconds to go. Dawson three again. His 10th of the game. His 10th three. 94-88. Less than 15 seconds. Wake down six. Steve Lapore. He gets the three. Here comes Wake. They're down three. The one Clifton at the line. Oh my heavens. Air ball. The second. Clemson's up by three. Misses it again. To Ron Downey picks up the rebound. Looking for OT. Gotta have it. Yes, please. Ties a game at 94. Can you believe they came back to force the OT? Chris Hobbs down low. And a foul. Tied at 101. Hobbs missed a free throw. Just over 30 seconds left in the OT. Tied at 101. Tony Stockman and Dawson get tied up. Clemson gets the ball. Clemson for the win. You see the time. Edward Scott drives. Off balance, Jay, no good. We go to overtime number two. Wake down two in the second overtime. Dawson, his 11th three, ties the single game ACC record. Wake by one. Ray Henderson tip in off the Scott miss. Clemson's up one. Less than 30 seconds to go as we keep going here. Scott the dish to Henderson down low. Lay in and a foul. Clemson is now up three. 20 seconds to go. Wake down five. Downey drives. Downey lays it in. Wake Forest in the double overtime. Down three. Play continues. Chris Hobbs can't inbound. Calls a timeout. They don't have it. Can't do that. That's a technical. Wakes. Dawson makes both free throws to pull them within one. Clemson, though, keeps possession. Hobbs is fouled off the inbounds. He made the first. Makes the second. Clemson up three. Last chance for Wake Forest. Lapore. Could we have another overtime? No, we would not. What a ball game. 118-115. Clemson winning it in double OT. The 233 combined points, one shy of the most ever in an ACC game. Everybody guessed last time Wisconsin won at Indiana. Coach Mike Davis of Indiana was 16. Bo Ryan of Wisconsin was 29 in the year. 1977, February 24th to be exact. It's a long time ago. Dane Five shooting the jumper. Jeffrey Newton of Indiana gets the board. Taken down under the rim. What's going on? No foul call? Mike Davis, who's had his issues with the refs throughout the year, livid. Newton gets the board, hits the floor hard. Really, not a lot of contact. So the Hoosiers able to retain possession. Tom Coverdale for the win. Not there. And Indiana falls short. Wisconsin snapping a 22-game losing streak at Bloomington. 64-63. Coverdale unable to win it. Charlie Will, 17. Jared Jeffries, the Big Ten's leading scorer, did not play because of a sprained ankle. Indiana had won 10 in a row overall. Alabama and South Carolina first half. Aaron Lucas led South Carolina with 17. More game Cox. Tony Kitchings misses, but Rolando Howell is there. South Carolina led by as many as 15. They held Alabama to 15 points in the first half. Ron Grizzard. Uh, he had 20. Bama up 52-51. South Carolina one last chance. Jamel Bradley misses a desperation shot, and Alabama hangs on a win, 52-51. to Staying in the SEC, Kentucky 24-0 against Vandy at Rupp Arena. Tommy Smith hoping that continues, and it's good to have Tayshaun Prince on your side. Fake drive, he be jamming. Prince, 5 of 8 field goals in the first half. Vanderbilt's Russell Lakey stealing. Talk to the hand. Prince with four blocks. Later in the second, Kentucky up nine. Eric Daniels to Prince. Spinning, lay it in. 20 points on the night. Kentucky up 11. But the Commodores come back as only Commodores can. Staying in it, down eight. Lakey drives and dishes to David Shivashevsky. Vandy down just five. Vandy down seven. A buck 15 left. Shivashevsky foiled. Kentucky hangs on to win at 67 59. St. John's making the trek to South Florida. Meet number 11, Miami. Mike Jarvis, not really pleased with this highlight. First half, St. John's up 7 6. Marcus Hatton, no, and that's it's a turnover. We even have a video effect. First half, 11 7. That's another one. Hatton, no one in particular. That's another turnover. Willie Shaw driving, loses the ball down low. Again, that's a turnover. You get this? Video flipping, it's turning over. Hatton passing to nobody. Eight turnovers for the game for him and eight points. Andre Stanley drive, throws to another 
Well, nobody. Got some That's a turnover. Game. Yeah, we have, a, we have a little turnover issue. Anthony Glover, Storm in shambles. You get the idea. St. John's losing. The game in town, probably not the best. Memphis and Charlotte. Milton Wagner watching his son Dewan score 22. Charlotte up 53-47. Demond Brown to the floor gets the steal. Joby Thomas to Eddie Baston for the hoop. Charlotte up eight. Then Brown hits the big three. Charlotte up eight. They win it 75-63. Big East ball. Providence and BC second half. Eagles up five. Providence pressing. John Linehan, the all-time steals leader, takes it from Troy Bell. Takes it in. Layup and foul. 14 points, six steals for Linhan. Friars down two, but they had a lot of bell on the other side. 39 for him. BC wins it by conference. UCLA only a game back in the loss column going in. Late in the second half, Billy Knight up. Oh, no foul. Got the free throw. It's tied up at 65. Less than four to go. Arizona by two. Jason Gardner nailing the three. His sixth of the night. Wildcats by five. Bruins wouldn't go away. Down by two in the air. Dan Gadzurk can get the tip kept alive. Jason Capone knocks down a three. Bruins first lead since early in the first half at 74-73. Less than a minute to go. Jason Gardner with three. Arizona by two. Next possession for the Bruins. This is clutch shooting. Capono knocks it down. Bruins by one. Capono had 20. Final seconds. Luke Walton to Channing Fry for the win. Oh, won't go. And UCLA holding on. And that'll do it. Time runs out. Outstanding game. And it goes to UCLA, 77 to 76. UCLA now 10 and 2 at home. Dan Gedzurk had 22. Arizona led by six at the half. Just the second loss this season when leading at halftime. But the Wolfpack tried to get into Cameron Indoor Stadium through the back door. Julius Hodge, the pass to Marcus Melvin for the jam. And then Archie Miller cuts back door and kicks it out to Melvin, who nails the three. I wonder what Dick Vitale thinks of Duke's defense. To me, it looks like Duke is very passive on a defensive end. They seem not to be really intense and emotional right now. And they're going to have to start, start to lace them up. You want intense and emotional? Coach K is going to give it to you. Later in the first, Duke up three. Chris Duhon passing to Carlos Boozer. Bump and bucket. Duke up five. Still in the first. Same margin. Dante Jones, offensive rebound to put back. Jones with 14 on seven of eight shooting. Got a little too fired up, perhaps. They get a T for taunting. They're up by 10 at the half, Jim. Then Mike Dunleavy gets the pass down low to Carlos Boozer for the jam. He had 32 points, did Boozer. Then Duhon with the steal. Dante Jones there for the foul. He had 14. Dick, what do you think about Dante Jones? We are seeing Duke basketball now, baby. Get ready for a little blowout city. This is the Duke he's at the Oh, now it's fun time. Dunleavy to Daniel Ewing. Got 20 minutes in this game. Great pass and the foul. Boozer 13 of 14 from the field. And you want the Terps? You, my friend, will get the Terps on Sunday. First, though, the wrap-up on this one against the Marymount at Gonzaga. Zags a game behind Pepperdine in conference play. Dan Dickow is there fired up, but Roy Violet grabbing the board. 15 rebounds, 15 points, working hard, still in the first. Zach Gord inside, looking steak. Five points for Gord. Go a long one later. Blake step up top, look out. Violet with the thump. And what about Dan Dickow? Six for 13, 23 points, eight rebounds, and it's now 25 straight wins at home for Gonzaga. Pepperdine unbeaten, get one up in the loss column on the Zags, but it'll be Pepperdine and Gonzaga. Big showdown in conference play on Saturday. Back to the Pac-10, Stanford and Washington. The Cardinal just a game and a half out of first going into the ninth. Doug Wren off the screen. Wren leading Washington with 24. Later, Casey Jacobson would start to take over. Off the miss three, Jacobson is there in position. Puts it up and in. He was 9 for 19 from the floor later. Chris Hernandez, the pass. Jacobson wide open, 4 for 8 from 3. Then off a missed 3. Huskies wouldn't get this. Teo Johnson grabs the board, outlet. Jacobson, cherry picking up ahead. 31 points for Casey Jacobson. More from him. Another 3. Stanford easily, 91 to 65.
For Washington, it's 10th straight loss to Stanford, including two this season by a combined 71 points. Jacobson averaging 31 and a half points per game over his last five. Number 25, USC, entertaining Arizona State. Trojans on their horse early. Eric Craven up top. He be jamming. SC up 17. Devils, they would get their due. Tommy Smith is thieving and throwing down. Arizona State down 13 at that point. Second half, SC up 16. David Gruthenthal from Santa Monica. He had three of those. 21 points overall. SC pulled away. Craven, quick step, and about the little flip reverse. Craven with 14 points, and mascots like that. But when Matt, when aren't mascots happy? It's pretty much part of the job it's description there. It's really. SC's won six straight home games against Arizona State. Eight of their last nine overall against the Sun Devils. Arizona State not helping their cause by shooting just 36% from the field and committing 19 turnovers. Sam Clancy chipping in with 19 points, 10 boards, ninth straight double-double for USC. Notre Dame coming off that double OT win over Georgetown, heading into dangerous Rutgers. Ryan Humphrey, 18 points and 19 boards on the night. Notre Dame down five. Then great passing, David Graves. For the layup, lead is cut to three. He had 10 points. Rutgers with a chance to ice it. Jerome Coleman, you just have to hit your free throws, right? Yeah. But he did. Second one, got another chance to ice it. No. no. Oh. Irish going the other way. Oh. Give it to the freshman, Chris Thomas. Let him oh. shoot it for the. Oh. Uh, Thomas 0 for 14 from the field. Maybe not the guy to have. On that last shot, Rutgers wins at 65-62. Get this, Rutgers has beaten Georgetown, UConn, Syracuse, and now and it was really Steve Logan hosting Southern Miss and torching them. Started early, all alone, pulls up for three, then the crossover three. This time, they're just daring him to shoot. That would prove to be a mistake. 18 first half points for Steve Logan. How about Southern Miss? Bernard Duncan gets it back. Swatted by Donald Little. Back to Logan now, pulling up. He was 12 of 18 from the field. He was on fire. Logan crossover, pull up three. Eight of 13 for three point range. Just off the break, just behind the arc, and he knocks that one down. Back to Southern Miss. Can they get in this thing? Mario Miles is there and sells little again. But Logan not missing anything. From Wicked Five. 39, and this for a career high 41 points, Steve Logan. Oh, piling up. He outscores Southern Miss 41 to 37, 41 points, nine assists. And there it is, Steve Logan, 41, Southern Miss. That's cold. 37, that is me. Logan's career high, 41, by the way, one point shy. The Conference USA and Shoemaker Center record of 42, set by Cincinnati's Melvin Levitt versus Eastern Kentucky back in 1997. There's the action.